NJR Medical, helping medicine help people. The NoBite 5, a faster and safer way to use oral hygiene and tracheal suctioning devices, providing comfort and dignity with dying. Tracheal suctioning in hospice and palliative care. Hospice and palliative care provides humane and compassionate care for people in the last phases of an incurable disease. The focus is on patient comfort and symptom management. One symptom, the death rattle, which refers to the gurgling noise of excessive secretions, can be misinterpreted as the sound of gagging or choking to death. The death rattle occurs in up to 92% of people actively dying and can be an unnerving experience for the patient's family as well as the caregivers. One way to treat the death rattle is tracheal suctioning, but during insertion, the suction catheter has a tendency to coil in the back of the throat, usually leading to multiple unsuccessful attempts and nasal bleeding. Seeing a dying family member with nosebleeds from nasotracheal suctioning or medical devices stationed in the nose and mouth is not a way that a person deserves to be remembered. With the use of the Nobite 5, tracheal suctioning becomes quick and easy, making a patient's last days more comfortable. Have your supplies ready. If your patient's condition is deemed appropriate, remove your patient's pillow and tilt the head back to facilitate opening of the airway. Put on your gloves and mask with facial shield for your protection. Depending on your preference, you can either face the patient or stand at the head of the bed. Insert the NoBite 5 into the patient's mouth. Depress the tongue to facilitate opening of the airway. Turn on the light. Insert the tracheal suction catheter into the guide until desired depth of the trachea is reached and then suction out secretions. This method allows you to successfully tracheal suction your patient by preventing coiling of the suction catheter. It also prevents the patient from biting down and damaging the suction catheter. Oral care and oral suctioning in hospice and palliative care. Oral cleaning and oral suctioning are common tasks done every four hours on hospice or palliative care patients. For oral cleaning and oral suctioning, most facilities use green swabs, Yankar suctions, suctioning swabs, or suctioning toothbrushes. Oral care is important because many family members want to kiss their loved ones goodbye, and it's therapeutic for family members to take part in the oral care of their dying loved ones. Oral cleaning and oral suctioning should be easy, but when the patient bites down, it can be very difficult and unsafe to both the caregiver and the patient. The process of suctioning these pneumonia-causing secretions could be stopped and a piece of hard plastic could break off inside a patient's mouth and cause injury to the patient. And if the caregiver attempts to retrieve that broken off piece, the caregiver is at risk for getting their finger bitten. So if a patient is known to bite down and oral cleaning and oral suctioning is necessary, insert the NoBite 5 into the mouth. Turn on the light for oral assessment. Begin oral cleaning and oral suctioning. If the patient bites down, they will bite down on the NoBite 5 and not your oral care devices, allowing you to safely perform your duties. <laughs>